John here guys and welcome back to another Friday frames in five minutes or less and today I have with me the X hover stingy this is sting you've seen it before haven't you oh is this the new forged carbon fiber stingy no this is the classic because much like a classic Cadillac or an Impala, you want the 64, you want the OG with the ridiculously aggressive out there styling. Even if it wasn't necessarily functional, that's what made this thing so cool. And when I think of Stingy, I think of these little arm guards with the spiky tips and the little hole at the end. I mean, that's the Stingy, guys. That's what you need. That's what you want. And that's what I have. Uh, the V1 also has the sort of semi-unique um, way that it did the bottom plate, sort of a dual layer sandwichy thing very interesting the way that this thing goes together at the front and then it's single layered at the back um, it also has this dip underneath to allow you to get that full size camera nice and low in there of course if i do build this up i'm not going to be using a full size camera uh, because i probably will go og with some of these parts but not the camera who does that guys um, but I have all of the 3D printed parts, a little SMA holder at the back, and then the beautifully printed, actually both of these are printed by Brain 3D. Uh, if you want some of the most durable um, and flexible and amazing quality prints, um, this is where you go to get them, guys. I have my own 3D printer at home, um, and I have printed several GoPro mounts for other quads, but when you see one come through by Brain, um, you know what the difference is so yeah I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these motors these are some 2207 1722 kV um, r6s uh, these are, are actually a great freestyle motor but I may go with something bigger um, should I throw on the brother hobby Avengers or is that too new that's coming soon as well um, I love that this very specifically designed soft plate for your battery um, is has that stingy sort of fangs on there. Uh, the original stingy design is just such an uh, innovative, forward-thinking tank of a freestyle design. And guess what, guys? I also have uh, some OG dead stock parts here. I have a spare in package. I'm sort of a collector uh, at heart, if you guys haven't noticed, with a lot of the toys and movie things that I feature so having this as a collector is awesome um, in the package and I also have a new spare arm as well this makes this quite a set I'm not sure if I even want to fly it or just hang it on a wall um, this is such a piece of FPV history uh, but it's one of those historical frames that will completely um, it's usefulness it's power its ability to take massive amounts of hits um, will just transcend its product shelf lifetime if i were to buy a stingy today i don't think i'd get the forged carbon guys i think i'd go with the og the forged carbon is compromised in the way of looks a lot of the same way that this one is these arm tips will kind of snap off in a hard enough crash but that's a functional um, thing if you really think about it you want those arm tips to be able to snap and protect your motor much like a crumple zone is designed to contract and crash in a car to keep the passenger safe this is designed to keep your motor safe and your components safe um, they you know sting really put a lot of effort into this and it shows and uh, it's a little bit heavy and large by today's standards but for freestyle that's kind of what you want guys so I'm going to be doing a lot of these Friday frame series. You guys in the comments are going to help me decide which ones get built up and flown first. Um, do you guys want to see this thing flung around with some 2207 motors or maybe something a little bit bigger? Uh, let me know in the comments. God, such a beautiful design, such a beautiful frame. 
and I love these nice little motor nut touches in the front. That's really gonna help keep that um, 3D printed session mount anchored on perfectly. Thanks guys.